Now in this uh, question 25 as it reads, in a region the potential is represented by V x y z, potential as a function of x y z has been given to you like this 6 x minus 8 x y minus 8 y plus 6 y z where v is in volts and x y z are in meters, they are standard units given. Now the electric force experience, you have to first calculate electric field here then multiplied by the value of charge that will give you electric force. The electric force experienced by a charge of 2 coulomb situated at a point 111 is. Now you see in this question simply you are using the formula E is equal to minus dV by dr. You will be calculating the x component that will be minus del V by del x. That means here it will be 6 then you see differentiated with respect to x so this will be minus 8y so this is you can say minus 8 because value of y has been given to you equal to 1 and other variables will be differentiated to be 0. So that gives you the value 2 this is the value of electric field. On the similar line you can calculate the value of Ey by differentiated with respect to y minus del V by del y you can say. Then you can calculate Ez del V by del y if you calculate here this will be 0 this will be minus 8x that is minus 8 and this is again minus 8 and here it will be plus 6. So this makes it minus 10 and again the minus sign so that makes it 10. This is the other electric field. Then you can similarly calculate what is the value of Ez. These things will be 0 because they are variables xy. Here it will be 6y. So minus of 6y that is minus 6. Now you see the total electric field will be the Pythagoras of these 3. So electric field net if you calculate this is 2 e square plus 10 e square plus minus 6 whole square that makes it under root 140 that makes it 2 under root 35. This is the value of electric field you have calculated. Now if you multiply it by the value of charge which is given to be 2 coulomb so that makes it 4 under root 35 newton. So the most appropriate answer for this question will be option number 4 and that explains question number 25. Now let us discuss the next question that is question 26. Now in the next question that is question 26 as it reads two cities are 150 kilometer apart. Electric power is sent from one city to another city through copper wires. Now the fall of potential per kilometer is given to you 8 volt. That means the entire journey of 150 kilometer you see 1200 volt of drop is there and the average resistance per kilometer is 0.5 ohm. So the total resistance will be 75 ohm that of wire. Now the power loss in the wire. So it is a very straightforward question based on the equation you can have power is equal to V square by R. You see here voltage drop as I said 150 kilometer multiplied by 8 that is 1200. So 1200 is square and resistance they have given you 150 multiplied by 0 0.5 that is 75. So you solve this thing you will be getting this 19.2 kilowatt. This is the power loss in the journey in the wire. So most appropriate option for this question will be option 2 and that explains question number 26. Now let us discuss the next question that is question 27. Now in the next question that is question 27 as you see the resistances in the two arms of the meter bridge is a question of meter bridge and direct application of the formula R5 ohm and R ohm respectively as it has been shown in the figure you can see 5 ohm is here and R ohm is here naturally the lens balancing lens are also in the same proportion 5 by R will be L1 upon 100 minus L1. When the resistance R is shunted with an equal resistance you see this resistance R is in shunted that means another resistance is connected in parallel. So the net value of this thing will be R by 2 this will be decreasing so naturally balance point has to be shifted. The new balance point is at 1.6 L1 as I said it has to be increased so the resistance R is. So make the equation very simple 5 by R you see here first equation 5 by R is L1 upon 100 minus L1 this is the first equation you will be obtaining you understand. But in the next go 
since r has been shunted by another resistance so this is 5 r by 2 and this is now l1 has been made 1.6 l1 so this is 1.6 l1 divided by 100 minus 1.6 l1 this is another equation you will be getting now you just divide both of them you will be getting balancing things and for that matter r value will be coming out to be 15 ohm you understand just solve these two by whatever method you feel like and the most appropriate answer for this question will be the option number 2 and that explains question number 27. Now let us discuss the next question that is question 28.